To execute the waterproofing of this deck, a single layer system non adhered to the substrate is selected. The membrane is only welded in the singular points. Such a waterproofing system can be accessible to pedestrian traffic or not, and it is recommended either for new buildings or for roofing repair works. Once all singular points have been primed and treated, start placing the waterproofing membrane and weld it only in singular points using a blowtorch. The waterproofing membrane should start to be placed on the lowest part of the roof, preferably in a perpendicular direction to the line of maximum slope of the roof until a row is finished. The lengthwise overlapping will have a width of 8 cm and the crosswise overlapping will have a minimum width of 10 cm and it should reach the joint or ridge. Hit the overlaps until the bitumen comes slightly out, thus ensuring a perfect sealing and union between them. The placing of the overlaps should always be done in the direction course of the rainwater flow over the roof. The placing of the membrane pieces should be carried out in such a way that none of the crosswise joints between the pieces of each row are aligned with those of the adjacent rows. Place and bond the membrane onto the vertical reinforcement pieces that were left previously treated and in such a way that it reaches the edge of the parapet and ensuring a perfect bonding onto the reinforcing strip. Then, place the surfacing strips of the joining to the vertical planes. Such strips should be made from the same bituminous membrane as the waterproofing system. The strip's length should exceed at least 20-25 cm in ace, the finished edge and they should be placed from top to bottom. Finally, the waterproofing membrane will be connected to the wall's face by using a set of self-protected pieces that are attached to the wall either in a setback or groove configuration.